Hey guys, Ashley here from Glow Body Personal Training. Today I have for you eight minute inner thighs where we're going to sculpt, trim, and tone those inner thighs. It will burn, it will be effective, and it's only going to take eight minutes out of your day. All you need for equipment is nothing, but if you want a bonus, you can grab a light dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm gonna have a 10 pound um, kettlebell here with me today, but really you don't need any equipment. I need lights out nice and wide, knees pointing in line with toes. So this is one plie squat, and we're going to come up. And then two, one, two pulses at the bottom. We're doing a pyramid all the way up to five and back down. Two, three, come down in three, two, one. Feel your inner thighs right here. Feel them activating. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go back down that pyramid down to four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Three, two, one two, one, and just one. Now back up to two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. If you can, look in a mirror and see if you're getting your thighs parallel to the ground. That's what we want today. Five, four, three, two, one. That is the peak of your pyramid. Back down to four. One, two, three, four. Squeeze it up. Good. I want you to reach reach, 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 now hands on ground, one, two, three, four, we're going to pick up the pace now that you know what to expect, reach, 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 hands on ground, one, two, three, push your booty back, four, let's do it, one, two, get low, three, four, elbows tucked in, one, two, Three, four, booties back. Four, three, two, one. Stand up strong with your core. One, two, three, four. Hands down. Four, three, two, one. Hello, inner thighs. I feel it burn. I know this is working. Four, hands down. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Plie squat pops back into your initial. Please squat position. We're just going to give it a little pop up on your toes. Get up there. If you find this is too easy for you, I want you to give me a little bounce and get up there. And then if your legs start dying, just go back to your regular plie squat pops. Get it up. Most importantly, though, besides getting it up high, I want you getting it down low. I'm gonna go back up to the advanced pops. Add a little jump, keeping your chest high, your toes out, knees out. Knees are in line with your toes. Your inner thighs are thanking you. Little pop, taking away my jump as I get my buzz together and fire it off. Four, three, almost there, two, one, Good job. We're going into slower side lunges alternating. So all the way to the left. And then, let me start on the side. All the way to the left. All the way to the right. Good. When you traversing all the way across your room. Awesome. Now if you want to add a little weight here, you can. Completely up to you. Don't recommend adding a weight until you really feel that you're getting your butt nice and low and you're able to keep your chest up high. Totally okay if you lift this foot in order to get a little deeper. When you stand up, you're powering off that base leg. So powering off right here. Inadvertently though, it's also working this elongated inner thigh. Nice and long and slow. Now we're doing a little side lunges to a knee up. So a little side lunge to knee up. Good. Don't need a weight for this at all. If you don't have a weight, don't even worry about it. Just lift that knee up high. As you stand up, engage those abs too. So we're working inner thigh and abs. Also working outer thigh for the stability right there where it feels like you want to wobble over or working on our balance and sculpting that, that thigh on the inside and on the outside. Lift it up high, give me a point of the toe at the top, 
and point. Good. Reach that weight down. Remember, these are not deep, long side lunges like we were just doing. They're just little side lunges. Ten more seconds. We're going to switch sides. It's our last standing, I'd say, last really hard exercise. It's what we're doing right now. Then we'll get more into, um, more to the toning. Great. Other side. So we're going to lunge this way. Lift it up high. Reaching your weight or just your arms down towards your left leg. Reaching it high. Your right leg is the base leg. This is the thigh that's doing the majority of the work right now. You want to power off. As I stand up, I'm also squeezing this glute. It's going to help give your base leg a little bit more stability. Good. Little lunges. Not too deep on these. Fire it up strong. As you stand up, I'm squeezing my whole thigh, inner thigh, outer thigh, glute even, to get max results in minimum amount of time. Squeeze it up. Pull those abs up. Knee is coming up towards chest. Good. We're about to lie down. It's a lying down exercise. Get excited. Two. Last one. Put that weight away. You won't need that again. When you lie down at your side, bring this knee forward. You can do something fancy if you want to prop it up like this, but you really don't need to. It just needs to hang forward. We're lifting this leg as high as we can. Toe is gently pointed. And the focus here is on the inner thigh of the leg that is pulsing up. So for me, that's my left leg right now. Let's give it some height. Good. Get a little higher. Look at your wall. See how high your toe is hitting. Now I want you to get an inch past that. Really push it. When you have a visual, it's going to help you get a little farther. We're going to create a little more tone on those inner thighs and tighten them out. It's okay if your knee bends a little bit as your leg lifts. Just try to straighten it out. Reach up high. Good. Same thing, other side. Now what you want to avoid on these is you don't want your leg up here to get in the way. So if you start doing the sagging number, it's going to get in the way. So just create enough space, bring it up here. Use your hand if you need to keep it up so that it just doesn't obstruct um, the ability for your pulsing leg to move. Squeeze that inner thigh up. Ensure that your body isn't starting to make a triangle shape like this. I see this a lot. I want a nice straight body, elongated back, and your thigh in line with your spine. Give me height. Your inner thigh is lifting straight up towards the ceiling. Gently pointing that toe and feeling that oh so good burn. All right, just like we did on the other side, get it a little bit higher. Find your spot on the wall, beat it by an inch or two. Get it up there. You are done. Thank you so much for joining me on this workout today. If you liked it, if those inner thighs are burning a little bit, like mine certainly are, give this video a thumbs up. Press subscribe to join the Glow Body PT family. I would absolutely love to have you on board. You can expect to see more highly efficient, fast workouts that actually work just like this. Nutrition advice and just honest, real women that are transparent and are just up there to get after it and, um, and crush it. I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.